Hello everyone and welcome to the ATD Movie Channel on YouTube. Today we're going to review Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. Let's get right into it. Full disclosure, I didn't grow up a huge Star Wars fan. In fact, I really didn't appreciate the original trilogy until I was older, and I really understood the cultural impact of the films and what they had on the world. That being said, I went into Rogue One with an open mind as much as I could. And for those of you who don't know, Rogue One is a story independent of the previous seven films. It runs along the same timeline or just before Star Wars 4 A New Hope. Don't worry, I'm not going to spoil anything and I never will in these reviews. The film is directed by Gareth Edwards, who directed the 2014 reboot of the Godzilla franchise. It stars Felicity Jones and Diego Luna in the starring roles of rebel fighters, and they're out to destroy the Death Star, which has just been completed by the Empire. Gareth tells the story in a new and contemporary way without abandoning some of the things that made the original film so great. The movie has its own look and feel, but certainly fits within the same universe as the other films. His attention to detail really stood out for me. The casting, the production design, the costumes, the music, and more all fit really well together. I can't imagine the pressure he was under to make a good film, and in my opinion, he nailed it. Felicity Jones and Diego Luna are wonderful actors. Jones was recently nominated for her role in The Theory of Everything for an Oscar. That's the Stephen Hawking's biopic. She plays Jin, the daughter of a rebel forced to assist in the Empire's building of their Death Star. Don't worry, I'm not telling you anything that you don't know or wasn't already released in the trailers. Uh, Felicity Jones does a wonderful job of conveying bravery, and yet we know she's a very hurt character. There's one scene in particular in which Jones is acting for several minutes without saying a word, and it's heartbreaking. Her character is so fragile on the inside and a total badass on the outside. I really enjoyed her in this film, and I thought she was a perfect casting choice. I really hope her career takes off from here. Diego Luna, he's also great. I first saw his work in The Terminal, starring Tom Hanks, and he was great in that too. Luna plays a rebel fighter assigned to help Jones and take down the Death Star. And for those of you who are not familiar with the Star Wars mythos, the Death Star is a weapon created to destroy entire planets. Luna does it all in this movie. He's really funny, he's witty, he's charming, but at the same time he's demanding and he's a force to be reckoned with. He plays a character in a way that keeps him, I would say, at the same level of Felicity Jones' character, and he never tries to steal the spotlight from her. That's something I really enjoyed in a movie world that's dominated by males. I'd also like to know how great the action is in this movie. There's certain action sequences that feature hand-to-hand -hand combat, other scenes that feature gunfights, and then there's the beach scene. My god, the, the beach scene is probably one of the best I've seen in the last five years. It features dogfighting style combat in the air, with a gorgeous backdrop of a beach on the planet in which the fight takes place. The choreography was excellent, so too was the cinematography. I never felt like I couldn't see what was going on. And you know how movies these days are so hip on these shaky cam sequences where you never know what's happening, what characters are involved. Also wor worth noting is the score by Michael Giancino. He won an Oscar for his work in Disney Pixar's Up. The score in this film is great. It has its own identity, but at the same time, it reminds us that it's from the same breed of the original films. And the movie did a really good job of using music to coincide with the pacing. When to slow down, when to speed up, so on and so forth. As much as I liked the film, it was not without its flaws. I'll start with the second act. It felt clumsy and unpolished. It withdrew me from the film with its awkward pacing and character development. Speaking of the character development, while Jones and Luna are wonderful, the supporting actors don't have much development. Forrest Whitaker, Donnie Yen, and others have very little character backgrounds that are conveyed to the audience. We know there's a history with the main characters, but it's not focused on enough for us to really care what happens to them. And lastly, I'm kind of perplexed by the fact that Jones and Luna spend most of the third act in one location. I don't need my main characters to be in the thick of every scene, but I want them to have more to do than just work in a single room. 
Some may think I'm nitpicking for this, but I just felt like the two main characters whom we've been following the entire movie should have a little bit more to do as we reach the climax of the film. Overall, these are minor complaints about a very well-crafted film. I enjoyed the ride in Rogue One, and my goodness, the ending. I kept hearing about this great ending that was a real treat for the audience, and I avoided spoilers at all costs, and I'm really glad that I did, because it paid off. I think the movie is going to please the fans of the franchise and still remain accessible for those who aren't very familiar with the movies. I enjoyed it and I look forward to watching it again and picking it up on Blu-ray or DVD when it comes out. That's all for now folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe to the channel for more content uploaded regularly. You can find us on Twitter at ATDMovie or on our Facebook group where a bunch of us talk movies. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you soon.